Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this is Ian with Out of This World Reader, and I want to go quickly go over my May reading plans. I really like doing flexible TBRs, and I've only got a couple books that I really want to get to, and sadly, I didn't get to my Book of Mysteries books for last month, so they're going to carry over this month, and I haven't come up with a punishment yet, but I'm going to continue those on for this month. But other than those kind of couple books I really want to get to, it's just going to be whatever I'm feeling, following that mood. So I'm just going to jump right in with my first book. This first one I really want to get to before Raul Reeds does a discussion on his kind of channel, and that is The Engineer by Darren M. Hanshaw. And I believe that discussion is May 10th, but I'll make sure to kind of leave a link to his plans for the video. But I'm really hoping to kind of dive into it before the discussion, because I believe the author is going to be in it. But I'll make sure to leave the info for it down below. But I mean, it sounds like a really unique hidden gem. It's following kind of this ancient pyramid that's hiding this deadly creature deep below. And this engineer, that's not the only problem that he kind of has to face. There's other kind of kind of raiders and bandits after him and he's kind of kind of combined forces with a knight I believe to kind of figure out the past of the ancients and just the ruins and it's, it just sounds like a really good time I, a diamond in the rough I'm hoping so hopefully I can pick it up before that discussion continuing on with a series that I fell in love with I will be picking up Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by JK Rowling I absolutely fell in love with Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, and I'm not just saying that because it's popular. In the beginning, I was a little bit worried, but I just, I don't think I will ever hate anything that involves witches, wizards, and just magic in general, but I fell in love with Hogwarts. I, I, I wish I could go there and learn spells, and just the characters in general, like Hagrid and Dumbledore have become some of my favorite characters, so I'm interested to see how this series will continue, but I just fell in love with it. I'm, I'm currently, like, after finishing it, I was on a book high of just wanting to consume more magic, and that really helped me enjoy The Serpent Shadow so much more because that involves magic as well. So Chamber of Secrets, I'm coming for you. If you watch my video on books that I really want to pick up this spring, I wanted to pick up Uprooted by Naomi Novik and I just felt like, since I love Spinning Silver so much, that I can't go wrong with this one. Even though that I've heard some, it's not people's favorite of hers, so. But I mean, how can I go wrong with just a sorcerer living in a tower who I believe can turn into a dragon, or maybe it involves a dragon that just eats people, I don't know. But I just love wizards, as you can tell from Harry Potter and all that other stuff. And dragons, I love dragons, so. If it combines this into like following kind of like a spin on a folktale, another folktale. I love folktales. So I just don't think I can go wrong with this, even though I haven't heard very much good things about it. But other than those little tidbits, I'll be going in blind. And I always love that kind of interacting and just falling in love with it without knowing any prior knowledge. So sounds like the perfect spring read in my gut. I'm trusting my gut. One of my Book of Mysteries picks last month was House Made of Dawn by N. Scott Mama Day, and sadly I couldn't get to it, so I really don't know anything about it other than it's really kind of highly praised and won several awards. I believe it won the Pulitzer, so if you know anything about it, please let me know, but I will, will be getting it to it this month, or else, or else I'm just going to beat myself. I don't know. Help me come up with a punishment for not getting to these books of mysteries. Like the other book of mysteries, my other pick that I had was Beyonders or A World Without Heroes. Or I, it's called A World Without Heroes and it's the first book in the Beyonders kind of series, I believe, by Brandon Mole. And similar to kind of House Made of Dawn, I know absolutely nothing about it. It's been on my shelves, I believe, the longest. I think I've had it since way back in grade school. And it's got a blurb by Rick Riordan, and if you know me, I love anything that Rick Riordan kind of produces. So, we'll see how that goes. It's just another fantasy book. I believe YA or middle grade, I'm not sure, but I just love fantasy. So I don't think I can go wrong with that. 
sometime in the month, I hope to pick up one of my most anticipated releases for this year, and that is Bloodsworn by Scott Rankin. Now, this really is a hidden gem in my opinion. It combines kind of the different aspects of the Hunger Games and Wolf by Wolf. If you haven't checked those out, they're kind of dystopian and kind of a race story. They're both dystopian and kind of alternative universes or alternative histories and one involves a race and the other kind of if you don't know Hunger Games is kids killing each other and this one they kind of raise Phoenix's to race in this race where it's not always kind of safe to ride around people are dying and it's got just the whole different aspects of it really kind of reminded me of those two books I'm just gonna read you a little bit on Goodreads so it says, the races over the course of a multi-day event, elite riders from clashing cultures vie to be crowned champion, but the modern version of the sport requires more than good riding. Competitors must be skilled at creating and controlling phoenix horses made of ash and alchemy, which are summoned back to life each sunrise and uniquely crafted powers to cover impossible distances and challenges before bursting into flames at sunset. But good alchemy only reminds, only matters if a rider knows how to defend their phoenix horse at night. Murder is outlawed, but breaking bones and poisoning ashes? That's all legal and encouraged. In this year's races, 11 riders will compete, but three of them have more to lose than the rest. A champion's daughter, a scholarship entrant, and a revolutionary son. Who will attain their dream of glory, or will they all flame out into heat? That little blurb from Ash Lords really left me off on kind of a cliffhanger at the conclusion of it. I couldn't wait to pick it up, but sadly, I had to wait. And now that I've got it, I'm ready to dive right back into this world that I fell in love with. The characters are so kind of unique, and they're all so special, and just the plot is just in my opinion, like something I haven't experienced and it, it's a hidden gem, so please check it out if you haven't. Another one that I really hope to get to next month is the prequel that not many people have liked and that is The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins, which is involving President Snow, who I absolutely hated in the trilogy, so we'll see how that'll play out in this book. I have no idea what's going on, I just know that he's kind of it's following his perspective in way in the past during when the games are kind of starting to take off. So I haven't heard good things about it. So I'm going in with open eyes though. And I think Luke's room really wants to do a buddy read with this. So hopefully I can get to it soon. I've been saying, I've been putting it on my TBRs for a while, but no more. We're getting to it this month. And lastly on my plans, I want to pick up People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. Since I didn't get to go on vacation for my spring break, I'm hoping that this book will kind of transport me to a tropical place, tropical island or something. I just know from the cover that it's got some tropical vibes and I love anything in the ocean. So I'm hoping that it'll transport me and give me a little bit of vacation that I missed out on. This is my April book of the month pick and I really have no, no I know nothing about it similar to several other books. The only thing that I kind of got from their little blurb is that it is following two friends who kind of were separated throughout the years. They were really good friends in the past and they always used to go on these vacations and then they stopped and now they're trying to go on this final vacation to kind of reconnect and reestablish that friendship and whether that'll happen or not, I guess I will have to find out. But this is the author of Beach Read, which is another book that I hope to catch a catch read in the summer because that one has heard gained a lot of hype lately and just people have praised about that one so this one I'm hoping will be just as good and perfect for spring because of vacation but those were all kind of my flexible plans for May other than these kind of similar books and even then I kind of just pick up books on random so I might I still might not even get to some of these hopefully the book of the mysteries though I'm getting to them let me know your plans for the month of May and what some books that you really hope to get to and your thoughts on any of these books I've kind of selected. I'll make sure to leave some videos that I recommend you check out. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss out on another adventure. And as Ellie always says, adventure is out there. So I'm going to catch you next time. Bye.